Hello, it is me, your friendly neighborhood red, here to do a little bit of make and break. Oh, my camera is so dark. What is going on? This happens every stream. It just resets itself. Hello, close up of me. Um, hello to everybody who's here early. Uh, Junie got an ad for uh, Genshin Impact, which I don't know why that's on brand for me. Um, I played Genshin Impact like two times, and I really didn't like it. But uh, if that seems on brand for me, sure, I guess. I don't know what that means. Um, we have a new follower who followed right at the beginning of stream, which is a cool vibe. It's kind of cool energy from you. Uh, what is your name? It's like uh, Agio. Let me look it up in just a second. Agio. What is your name? Uh, Agio Takun 1. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. It's a crazy name. I love it. All right, but anyway, we're here. Hello. And I started the raffle early. So shout out to me for not forgetting to do that. Uh, anyway, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some more music on and then we're gonna get into it. <clears throat> hey. So today, what are we doing? Look at this. We're making some dummies. So I'm gonna make some archery targets and I'm gonna make a little dummy. Um, I was looking online and there is like a 90%, there's like a 90% rate on dummies. They all look the same. It's a sack tied around a stump with the rope and the straw sticking out the bottom, a frowny face and eyes glued on it. Like. There's a there's an open market for making training du training dummies out there. So I'm gonna make a training dummy. I don't know, I don't know why people are using the same training dummy for everything, and why people who make new training dummies are doing the exact same thing everybody else is doing. I don't know. It makes no sense to me. So I'm gonna make a new one. It's not gonna be that hard, I imagine. So this is what I'm doing today. <clears throat> On top of making this training dummy, uh, I was doing some googling, and there is one very prominent training dummy. That looks different, but it looks bad. So we're ju I'm just gonna have a little moment of negativity while we look at the World of Warcraft dummy. Look at this. Look at this. What were they thinking? What are they doing? What is this? This thing looks terrible. <laughs> it's, okay. I know this is like for fun. I know it's cartoony. Like, I know, like, this doesn't matter, right? It's just for fun. But the shield is off to here. What are you training against? What would you be training against this? The shield being in the center, that's a good look. That's a cool look right there. I like that one. This reference image was one of the best ones I found. Anyway, enough, 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 enough. I'm just, I'm just gushing about stuff at this point. So, uh, this guy's useless. Say goodbye. We might look at him later for some eyes or something, but um, that's that. Look up the Final Fantasy XIV striking dummies. All right, let's do this. Final Fantasy XV striking dummies. Let's take a look at this. I hope it's not uh, offensive. I doubt it would be. Okay, I mean, these are crazy looking. What am I looking for? Fourteen, not fifteen. It is fourteen. That says fourteen. Um. I mean, they're cool. I was, I was expecting something funny. Okay, I understand. They are kind of cool. Not what I'm going for, though. <clears throat> okay. So let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. Um. You know. The pace of stream has been slowing down a little bit, and I like it, because I'm getting better. I'm getting to the point where I can make stuff very proficiently, and I like slowing down a little bit. That's nice. It feels good. The question here is, how proficient am I to judge how many vertices I need? The short answer is, I'm not sure. So let's do this. We're gonna go ahead and shrink this guy down just a little bit. 
make ourselves a nice thick little archery target. There we go. Let's go ahead and say that looks good. We're gonna apply some scale. We're gonna throw on some smooth shading. And now we're gonna grab two faces and we're just gonna bevel them, nice and simple. Nothing too crazy to think about there. Boom, we got a little cheese wheel. I mean, that's effectively all we're making. We're just making a cheese wheel. Now, Do I care about that geometry? It does look a little messy for my tastes. Um, I'm gonna keep it like that for a little bit, but I might try to add a little bit, ooh. Let's go. I might try to spice that up a little bit later, but we're not gonna worry about it right now. If I check my topology on this guy, eh, it looks all right. Color me not super impressed with it, but it should be fine. And this giant ingon here, I don't really know what the implication of that is. So fun fact, is a very fun fact. When you're actually um, like making 3D objects and you have ingons, this is I think might be a mostly a blender issue, but it's probably an issue everywhere. If you have an ingon like this, it is assuming triangles. Everything is assuming triangles. These are triangles, everything's a triangle. Um, and so even though it's an ingon, I'm not saving myself any geometry. It's just for the sake of editing. So I'm questioning if I should automatically poke this or not. But I don't know what effort I gain from that. So I'm not going to do it. But I do think about that every now and again. That would be a SEMO question for you. Um, but it's not for me. So that's my cheese wheel, done. Let's make the little bracket that it sits on. So we want a couple of pieces of wood. There's a string here, which I think is useless. I think that's only if you're gonna carry it, in which case you would just bring a piece of string with you. So we're not gonna do that. Instead, let's build ourselves some cubes. Now, if I'm feeling really spicy about this, I think I have a really easy way to do this. We're gonna wanna go 0.2. Are you feeling spicy? I'm always feeling spicy. Two by four. Now, they're called two by fours. This doesn't look right to me. It's definitely not that. It's a one by four, isn't it? On a scale of one to 10, how spicy? Okay, so let me go ahead and just uh, admit something to the world. I'm gonna go ahead and make a confession today. Um, I had coffee for the first time in <laughs> five years. I had coffee for like the first time ever uh, yesterday. And uh, man, it really riled me up. It really did something to me. It really got me in a nutso mood. Um, I went to bed last night and my brain was just like pew, 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 just like shooting off ideas. I could not sleep last night. I was like hyper, hyper, hyper. Keep in mind, uh, get some Brooklyn water bagel. There you go. Uh, keep in mind, something to keep in mind about this little um, coffee escapade of mine. Um, I had coffee at 3 p.m. yesterday. I'm just now winding down from it. Like, I don't know, like, getting old sucks is basically what I'm saying. Also, these guys need to pop into target and we gotta make sure that we're selected on the target. And that should do it. And do I wanna bevel these at all? I don't think I do. Well, maybe we'll do the round on the front there. The rest of this, nah, I don't care. It's fine as is. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy you. And normally I would do an outer angle, but I'm gonna do an inner angle because we want this thing to fold correctly. You don't want any stray arrows coming and hitting your wood as much as you can help it. So we're just gonna do a little bit of that. And honestly, do we care about these little edges here? I 
think the short answer is no, we don't care. Hello, we got M here. The gang's all here. That's a good little cross section right there. Can't be mad about that. Let's go ahead and get this guy feeling a little bit more sturdy. Just like that. You're kind of bouncing off the walls right now. When are you not bouncing off the walls? Just for reference. Just so we can get kind of a baseline. Because um, I feel like you're always bouncing off the walls, Junie. Coffee is bay. I can't agree. I cannot agree with this. All right, we're gonna do that. And then once I dissolve these guys together, I am actually going to flatten all of this. But we're not gonna worry about that yet. First, we're just gonna get it feeling like something. Whatever that something is. I've been playing uh, Phasmophobia lately, so if you all ever wanna play. Um, I do not own Phasmophobia. Is, is the short part of that one for me. Um, it does look like a cool game. Just haven't gotten around to purchasing or doing anything with that. I've been a little careful with purchases lately. Um, I had to fix my car, and it cost $900, and it was tragic, and my body hurts. So I'm sort of at a position right now where I'm like, let's not buy things. Let's just not be doing that. So that's kind of where I've been for a little bit. There we go. Look at this. We're going to shrink that guy down. Push him forward just like this. There we go. Cool. Now we can take all that and push him on over. We're going to take you and bring you down. I uh, have wanted to play Phasmophobia so bad, but it's not Mac compatible. Oh, no. The Mac strikes back. Yeah, I mean, that'll happen to you, honestly. There we go. Okay, so that's a stand. That'll do. We're going to round some edges here, but that's a stand. This will be fine. I'm like, do I want to round that front edge? We're looking at a primitive one, and there's no rounding at all. And we're looking at this one, and there is rounding. The rounding at the top, I think, is a good touch, so we're going to do that. And we're going to grab everything and edit all of them as a mass. This should be good energy for us, I think. So if I just bevel you guys. How are we going to do this? Okay, let's do you, apply scale, apply scale, apply scale. Is that going to work? Is this going to give us what we want? I don't know. Oh yeah, totally works. Perfect. Cool. Okay, so let's clamp over that, go max, and go four. And we're just going to copy that logic on each of these. Do I want to do it here? You know what? I think it'd be kind of a cool look if we just did this. Halfway? I think it's a good look. That way it like intentionally shows they could have rounded it if they wanted to, but they chose not to to keep this part rigid. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm already like almost out of water. I'm going to go grab some water here in a second. What I need to do is every time I stream, I need to get out my water bottle and like actually drink like a substantial amount of water. I'm just lazy. All right, let's merge by distance. Get that looking nice and clean. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of SZ0. It's because it's not on global. I understand. SZ0. There we go. Oh. Now 
Now that's a funny little angle right there. So how I think we want to fix this, this is going to get weird. We're going to look at this guy. This guy is negative 16.1. So if I think very carefully about this, we can take this, we can go skew, skew. Am I able to do a 16.1? I don't think so. 0.161? Doesn't work. So instead, we're actually just going to go based off of eyeballing it, which is going to be a great little feel here. That's not bad. That's not bad. You can't be mad at that one. And then now we got this one. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Come back. All right, and now we're gonna eyeball it. Go down. Nope, it just did the exact same thing. It just rounded it out again. Why is it doing that? How do I cut it? How would I cut it flat without Hmm, okay, new new experiment. Let's do a new experiment. New experiment is, I'm gonna grab both of these. We're gonna do an SZ0, and I'm gonna see if there's like a non-looped, no, there's nothing. I mean, I hate to be this guy. I think I'm just gonna like do this by like eyeball. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but I don't know how to do it. So we're just going to eyeball this. We're going to say Bob's your uncle. That's just how you do it. Sometimes you just got to get things done. Sometimes you can't sit and think and worry about the small details. You know, there's always a million new things to learn. But if I thought of only about learning new things, I would never finish the work that's in front of me. So we're just going to get it done. There we go. Done. Done deal. Now I take this. And I push this guy forward a little bit. I take this and I push this guy forward a little bit. And now I gotta make sure that these guys are at the exact same height. And we're done. So straight across, SZ0. They're at the same height, done. I already SZ0 would I didn't have to do that again, but my bad, I didn't realize, I forgot. I kinda lost my way. Okay. We got everything looking about where we want it. Cool, so we're gonna put a brace here and a brace here. Is there a need to put a brace here? What happens? That gets a little wibbly wobbly. No problem, I don't care. Nothing there. There we go, now we grab these guys. I don't wanna join them yet. Instead, we're gonna go ahead and call you target. We're gonna call you target frame front, no, holder. I always use holder, I don't know why I always use holder. We're gonna do target frame front, target frame back. And now we go like this, we throw on a mirror modifier with our target. And now I go boom, 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 link modifiers, done. Problem solved, we got ourselves a little brace here. Look at that. I found my chili dark chocolate, oh yeah. We're cruising on some chili dark chocolate today. I'd kill for some chili dark chocolate, if I'm being perfectly honest. I'd kill, I'd kill most folks for some chili dark chocolate. Uh, negative 16.1 is going to give us exactly the angle that we want. So we're going to pop that on back to here. Make sure that it sits. It does. Make sure it sits. It doesn't. There we go. That's just about perfect for me. There's our target. Ready to go. So let's brace him up. Uh, you don't have to kill. I would just share. 
Somebody gets to live one more day. Okay, so we're just going to staple all this together. GZ, GZ that on up. You know what? I'm okay with it being a little mismatched. That doesn't bother me. GZ that down. Do I care? Maybe I do care. I don't know. It's like really close. I have that weird like perfection fallacy thing where it's like so close that it looks weird. It looks like a mistake, right? Because it's not as close as I want it to be. That looks okay. Because that part right there is really symmetrical and then that part's not symmetrical. That'll do. That's the fine measurement right there. Okay. Now. We need to make a brace for this. This is where it's gonna get kinda of awkward. Here's what I'm thinking. I don't know if this is a great idea, but this is my idea. We're gonna go ahead and take, oh, this is gonna get weird really quick. We're gonna go ahead and make an icosphere. Not an icosphere, a UV sphere, sorry. Oh, this is going to be weird. It doesn't need to be that detailed. So we're going to drop it down to maybe like 24 by 12. Let's do 14. Yeah, this will work. This will work. We got it. Cool. So... I'm gonna go ahead and shrink you on down, bring you up, bring you over, shrink you down again, get it right into the position we like. We're gonna go a little bit of an X-ray, we're gonna do a little bit of GX to bring that on over. Remove the X-ray and make sure that it sits right in that center bit and shrink it down just a little bit. Go ahead and do a little bit of this. Okay. Here's fingers crossed. This is going to make any sense at all. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab it. We're going to go x-ray. We're going to go edit. We're going to delete half of this guy. We're going to say that looks okay. Fill it, bring that crease down, and we're going to extrude along normal. Oh, I don't, I don't hate the way that looks at all. So if I GX and I Alt or Control to make sure it goes right, nope, it won't work. That's okay though. It ain't bad. We're gonna delete that center face because we don't want a repeating face. But it should be a pretty easy matter of just getting you right here. Just get you right on that center line, GX. Boom, and we'll let auto merge do its business. Okay, I'm gonna call you um, target frame link upper I don't know what you would call this thing I don't know what on earth you would call that thing all right let's go ahead and pop that down and we'll do it one more time we already got it made we don't need to think too too hard about it anymore so color me pretty pretty enthused and we pop it down I don't know why it went so far out maybe I did that myself I don't know why I did that so we just push you on in, come back out. We just find that little center bit that we like. Probably right about there, I would say looks good to me. And we repeat the process. Grab you, go to edit, go to x-ray, grab just that. And we're gonna go GX right on over. Look at that. How's that for some archery? Real fast, real swift.
my uh for whatever reason the feed on um obs keeps updating it's freaking me out i keep looking over i see it like ticking and moving and doing stuff nobody's donating anything or doing anything i don't know why it's freaking out all right should be able to link modifiers and we're done boom there he is little steel structure nice and easy and that just folds right down and you just carry it can't be mad at that can't be mad at this how much was that that was 26 minutes not bad oh there's the hydrate i saw that one that one was intentional it looks cute well thank you so i'm a little scared of how this is going to work but let's give this a shot real quick i'm going to try and throw a bevel on here are you going to put circles on it? Oh, yeah, I'm going to put the circles on there. Also, don't forget about the raffle, everybody. I, uh, I forgot to say that I started it right at the beginning of stream, um, but I started it right at the beginning of stream. So we have a raffle today. Hey. It only gave you... That's weird. It's supposed to give you 10 if you're a subscriber. And it didn't. I wonder why that is. Uh, that's a little strange to me, but okay, I guess. Okay, do I like how chunky this guy looks? I don't know. I don't know if I love it. Let's do point two on all of these guys just to really get them feeling a little bit more round. Yeah, you're supposed to get 10 as a subscriber for free. I was trying to up the amount. The max is now 999 and I lowered the cost to five instead of 10. I do want people who sit and chat for like an hour to be able to buy a ticket. There's no reason they shouldn't be able to. Um, I was really just trying to prevent people who like join immediately from buying a ticket. So I'm just experimenting a little bit with costs and stuff like that. But uh, I goofed up somewhere, so I got to figure that out. You know what? The more I look at this, I don't mind that. I mind maybe this, but I don't mind that frame. That frame looks good. So let's go to our nodes and let's node this guy up. I'm going to say we're like basically there. Also, I'm doing a new thing with my um, material editing. So bear with me while I try and make this work. I got a new little idea. So we're gonna go ahead and make a new one and we're gonna call this Style Oak. Here's my idea. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stylize this oak a little bit more using a really simple method calling doubling the size. I'm going to double the size of things. I might add a little bit more roughness to make it feel a little bit more obvious. And we're going to get these guys a little closer together. So we're just playing right now with um, some style stuff. I, I've been really thinking about how to stylize and how to get things feeling appropriate. And I think I'm ready to start taking some plunges. And plunge number one is um, making sure that we have like really prominent detail work, like really, really prominent detail work. So that's what I'm doing. That's the goal here today, is to make some nice, strong details. So let's go 0.3 and 0.6. Like that's much better looking wood, I think, than this, even though this is a little bit more realistic. But realistic doesn't super matter, in my opinion, at this point. You know, for anybody out there who is doing their own game art, who is 
learning or doing stuff like that, I'm gonna go ahead and say, um, style is like the hardest thing in the world to nail down, at least in my opinion. You can be an expert in your field, but trying to make something stylized, that is tough. Okay, so we're gonna lower that strength just a little bit. I'm gonna say that is the style right there. I think that looks a little bit better. Although the more I'm looking at it, the more I think I want this to be a little bit more gradual. And if I make that gradual, I might be able to up the strength a little bit again. That's a look. That's kind of a cool look. Yeah, okay, we're gonna say that's it. It could use work. I'm not about to sit here and redo all my wood textures live on stream. But like, as a baseline, that to me screams wood. You look at that from a distance and you're like, wow, that's wood. For an absolute amateur, I would say that's not terrible. Um, we don't wanna copy modifiers, so let's undo that. And we're gonna copy materials. So now we got style oak on everything. And let's go ahead and make sure to apply some scale to all of this. And we're done. There he is. That's our boy, nice and stylized. You think it looks nice? Well, thank you. Yeah, the goal, looking at um, like World of Warcraft, looking at these guys, they're hyper stylized. And this is definitely the look I'm going for. Like, photorealism's cool if you're working on The Last of Us, if you're working on Call of Duty, if you're working on... It doesn't have to be a, a cookie-cutter game. Like, even good games can be hyper-stylized. But I'm not trying to make things... Uh, I mean, realistic. I'm just not trying to make things realistic. That's not my goal. I'm making fantasy. And I need to think a little bit more in the fantasy realm while I learn material editing. So, we're going to start pushing ourselves more towards this kind of stuff. The advantage of this, this is terrible looking. Um, the advantage of this is also you get to get away with lower polys. Like, that that's not good. But it's also an old game, so I'm not gonna be that upset about it. But we're gonna get away with some lower poly stuff as well while we're doing this. Okay, so let's make ourselves a little bit of rusted metal. Look at that. Beautiful. So again, I'm gonna go in this, I'm gonna say style rust. And here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna take it and we're gonna add more of the silver. Way more of that silver. It, uh, fun energy. Oh yeah, I mean, World of Warcraft is great for what it is. It's just not what I'm doing. It ain't my goal. There we go. Now I can lower that down a little bit again. Actually, we can double that scale while we're here. My axis of rotation is super annoying on this. I'm gonna say that's not the worst thing I've ever seen but I kind of wish it was more like this. There we go. Yeah, that's a little bit more of what I want on that. Just a rusted old bolt on there. If I could also flip them, that would be pretty cool. So it should be less, no, 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 no. So in fact, if I go like this and I invert this, that's not gonna work. That's definitely not gonna give me what I want. It does look good, it looks like a little planet. Like, I love the look of it, but no, that's not it. What we want is this. Let's 
We want so much of it to be that. That's not gonna work. You know what? That's good. Boom, done. He's got some weird little bits here, but I don't know how to solve that. And I don't know if I care to solve that. That looks fine. We'll take that. That's my boy right there. Cool, and we come across and we got all these little bits. And then this one looks like that, not bad. Cool. Let's give this one style rust and we're done. Style rust and we hit scale and we're done. Simo, what's up Simo? Simo, we're playing with a little bit of um, material stuff today. I'm just trying to redo my materials and feel better about them. Are these two identical? They are literally identical. Can't live with that. Tell you what, what I wanna do then, if, if they're identical, is play with um, rotation. <laughs> So we're going to put in object info and a rotate or a random node. <laughs> Here's your stream sneeze. All hail the stream sneeze. Okay, they're slightly different. They're really not that different, but they're slightly different and it's good enough for my purposes. So, boom. Little frame, let's make the actual uh target part. So universally, targets are like tatami mat material with a piece of paper stretched over them. Thank you, I appreciate the bless you. They're tatami mat material with paper stretched over them. Somehow that's not gonna work for me. Why, I don't know. I'm a terrible person, I get obsessed with things. So we're gonna go ahead and make this tatami target. Oh gosh, here we go. Down the rabbit hole we go. Down the rabbit hole we go. Let's do this thing. Let me go ahead and throw on a bump node and we're gonna go way down this rabbit hole. I'm starting to reach the point where I think we've like done most of our texture work stuff and I'm getting to the point where vector math is really the only way I'm gonna get new textures out of Blender. I'm like crossing my fingers that there's like something I don't know or there's something new coming in the next version of Blender, I don't know. I'm just, I'm running out of ways to like edit things. Okay, let's start with a wave texture. In fact, I'm gonna plug this into diffuse just so I can see what I'm doing first. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna go ahead and plug in a mix RGB color node right there. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in object info and I'm gonna keep the mapping node just in case It did it again. This is a new little quirk of Blender. It's never done this before. It crashed again. So it's something about, it's it's got something to do with the node editor. Going too fast with the node editor crashes it or something. That's weird. That's very annoying. Okay, so we got a save from literally one minute ago. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's go ahead and press save real quick. Yeah, it's just right here. So I'm gonna plug you in, I'm gonna plug you in, and we're gonna say calculate. And I'm not gonna touch it. She's good. Now, I'm gonna press control T we're gonna let it load. Not touching it. Now I grab these and I move these. And I'm not gonna to touch it. All right, it worked. Cool, let's save. Before we do anything, let's save. 
and let's get this thing going. So, what do I want this to look like? Ultimately, I think what we want is we want rings, spherical. And we want it to wrap, probably using Z data, if I had to guess. I mean, that's not a bad looking tatami structure, if I'm being perfectly honest. And using UVs might not also be the worst idea in the world here. But we're going to start with just this. So let's use Z as our measurement. That's not bad looking, but I don't know why it's not centered. Oh, it's because I didn't use object. My bad. Oh, that's literally perfect. That's it. Like, done deal. We did it. 100%. We're going to put color ramps in here to make sure that it looks uh, nice and rigid, but that's 100% it. We're done. Easy peasy. Absolutely. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Look at that. Now, I wish this had some articulation on it, but that's not terrible. I don't mind it. Why was that so easy? Why was that the world's easiest thing I've ever done in my life? All right, I'm going a little fast. Hopefully, Blender doesn't crash. While we have it nice and set up like this, I'll just go ahead and save. We're gonna go ahead and do maybe like a 0 0.3.5 sort of situation. Get that thing feeling nice and hot. We'll do the same thing here, 0 0.3.5. Get that feeling nice and hot. That is not bad looking. That looks terrible. Okay, so let's switch the algorithm real quick. We want to add some weird noise going on outside. I don't know what that is. Hold on. I'll be right back. <coughs> I have no clue what the noise outside is. Normally, we have um, a little raccoon that likes to sneak around in the neighborhood. And one time, um, oh, great story about the raccoon. So one time, we heard a noise outside one of the windows. And um, so we look, and it's the raccoon. And from our neighbor's garage, straight in front of me, um, the raccoon had stolen one of those buckets of cheese puffs. He just had a whole thing of cheese puffs and was carrying it. And there's a little hole in the fence. And he was trying so hard to, like, jar the um, the cheese puffs through the fence. And it was the most precious thing you've ever seen in your life. It was the absolute best. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, do I like that? Oh, do I like this? Because I kind of think I like this. To me, that looks like tatami material, and I don't even mind this part a little bit. It's not great. Like, I'll be the first person to say that doesn't look wonderful. But it looks cool enough for me. If we up the distortion to, like, 5 and 5... And then we up that detail quite a lot, and we up this detail quite a lot. Oh boy, I can't be mad at that. Oh boy, I can't be mad at that. That looks great. Let's do two and two. We'll do like point. 0.75 and 0.75 down here, and maybe I'm going to double the scale. I don't think that looks terrible.
Also, shout out to this song for being just the funniest song in the world. Nobody's ever going to guess what game that comes from, too, because the game does not match the sound of that song at all. You know what? That's fine. This is going to be the this is going to be how it looks. I don't mind that one bit. That's a pretty good look if you ask me. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw that on right down here. And we're going to go back to base color. And we should be looking pretty smooth. Look at that. That's a tatami mat, if you ask me. It's a little more rigid than I would like it to be. Which I think I can just lower this down. I hate this part. This part's super frustrating. I want to throw in maybe another wave texture. But I'm worried about messing it up and it is kind of perfect looking. Let's do it. Let's do it. No pain, no gain, right? Let's do it. If we ruin our whole project here, it'll be worth it. So I'm going to plug in another one of these guys. Another one of these guys. Oh, please don't crash. Please. Please, Blender. Thank you. Boom. Plug you in down here. And you are now going to be X. No, it's going to be Y because it's on rings. Zen. This is it. It didn't work, but it actually made a better looking pattern. Which isn't that strange how that works. Let's try this. I like how we have no loading bar. Oh, nope, that didn't work at all. Ooh, it's such a good look though. Okay, I see the rings right there. Let's go back to bands. We want X, X bands. We have, we have spherical rings. We have Z bands or rings. Now we want Y. You're gonna work. You're gonna work. You're gonna work. You're gonna like the way you look. Oh, we've done it. Oh, we've done it. Oh, we've done it. It there it is. Oh, we've done it. Oh, we've done it. Look at that. We've done it. Oh, she's perfect. Oh, she's gorgeous. We've done it. Look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Cool. So I might throw on some sort of thing to round that out a little bit, but not yet. She's beautiful. Cool. Let's throw on the target. So first things first, what I want to do is take all of this and um, scooch this on down. RGB curves. Uh, explain. Simo, what are you talking about? Because I already know how I'm going to do this. To round? I think we're saying different things. What are you talking about? You're talking about rounding out the actual diamonds here? Because I'm talking about rounding out the edges of the mesh. I kind of like it being a diamond pattern, if I'm being perfectly honest. Although, for the sake of giving it a shot, let's give it a shot. I don't mind doing a new something or other. Let's push all that down there, and let's throw on an RGB curve and see how that looks. RGB curve. Here we go. This is going to be the most complicated <laughs> mesh I've ever made. Or a uh, texture map, I should say. Oh, you can make some crazy stuff.
Whoa. Oh, you can just like make a magic texture. You can literally just make magic textures by doing this. I didn't know you could just do all this. That is not the worst look I've ever seen. But it's definitely not what we want. But good to know. I'm going to keep this in mind. That's actually a cool little tool. I've never learned RGB curves before. So we're going to leave it like that. Now, let's go ahead and plug in ourselves a gradient. Uh, you're going to want to lower that guy down and make a new one. And of course, we're going to use object data because we set up the object so perfectly. Why would we not use the one that looks good? We're going to do a little bit of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and throw on a color ramp. And here's how we're going to do this. We're going to go equidistant. One, two, three, four, five, separate evenly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Distribute evenly and get rid of the last white. There we go, perfect. And now I'm gonna make them the colors that I want because I don't know, I'm just feeling it already. So we got the tatami mat, we got ourselves a black, I kind of expected that to be really black, but it's not that black. Okay, so uh, does anybody know why um, our tree targets are colored the way they are? Um, that makes it sound like I know the answer. I don't know the answer. Does anybody know why they're colored this way? What's the point of this? Okay, let's go ahead and get colored. We'll go ahead and throw on a sphere. I don't think it matters if it's quadratic or not. I don't really understand what the difference between quadratic and a regular sphere is. Okay, it's perfect, except the back can't have it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to scale the Y I'm gonna scale the Y like that. Uh, I know that the yellow and red are usually used because they are the easiest to notice. Okay, I don't hate that. There we go, and there's nothing on the back. We've done it, done, target, complete. Complete, now, I have a <laughs> that looks pretty good. Well, thank you. I'm going to go one step further. I'm a little bit of a delinquent. I know. I can't be helped. I'm going to go even crazier. We're going to do one more thing. I'm insatiable. I just, I, I can't be helped. So that's that. We're going to grab this. Nope, not you. We're going to grab this. Okay, I gotta do this right. I gotta do this very correct. So what do we have here? We have strength of one, which is actually nuts that I went for one, but I like the way it looks. Stick with exaggerated stuff, right? No. Let's do point eight. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of an ease between these two and I'm gonna go like that and bring it really close up just so we have a little bit of a gradient between them. Why am I doing this? 
I'm going to put this down on strength. And we should have it look like it's being painted. So it should look painted. It should look like you filled in some of this. It doesn't do that much. It doesn't do as much as I want it to. Really doesn't do as much as I want it to. There you go. That looks a little better. Yeah, this guy here needs a little bit of love. 0.19. In fact, I'm going to take you and go 0 0.21. Hmm. Now we have a complicated situation because I kind of want that to look like it's getting streamed out a little bit. Am I really about to do this to myself? All right, screw it. I'm gonna keep this one as a backup. I'm really about to do this to myself. I don't know why I always have to make my life so much harder, but we're gonna just go for it. Okay, you are now 0.21, you are now 0.19. Why am I doing this? Uh, sure. So this is 0.4. We're going to do 0.399. We'll just do 0.39. I'm okay with a little bit of a fade. 0.59. This one, 0.79. And now we're going to add a little bit of an ease cross our fingers and hope that this works. There you go. Now it has a little bit more of a painted look. From a distance, it looks identical. Up close, it has this cool, weird sort of effect. Color me a uh, insane person for even caring about all this. Point zero two five, and there we go. Now it's barely noticeable that it has the track on it, and then this one has a hard track, and that is my painted look. Why did I do all that? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Um, so let's get the material looking correct. We want sheen with tints. Am I on this? Why is it not doing sheen? Let's go to actual rendered view and let's make sure we save real quick. I feel like Sheen is doing nothing, but we're gonna make this guy really rough. Specular. I feel like there's not a lot of specular on stuff like this. I'm not even sure I really understand what specular is, but I don't think there's specular on here. I want to say she looks done. The only other thing I would add hmm. No, it's fine. Let's be done with this. Let's sit and be done with this. She's done. She's done. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, you're done. Uh, I'd say it looks perfect. That is so usable. I'm gonna list this thing for like two bucks somewhere. So anybody who wants to buy it, it'll be like the cheapest asset you've ever bought in your life. That's my one hour, two dollar asset. Um, okay. Now, that is an archery target done. Now we got ourselves some little dummies. Are we actually about to do this thing? Am I gonna actually finish today? That would be incredible. 
to actually be able to finish <laughs> a sketch for once. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Let's pop him up quite a bit. Now the arms. Hmm. I have a weird idea. I don't know if it's a good idea. Here's my crazy weird idea. If I cut this, shade smooth, let's throw on some auto normals real quick just to get that top nice and flat. If I cut this, watch this. Put in two little guys somewhere. I don't know where they're gonna be yet, but I'm just gonna do that just for the time being. If I grab them and I go like this, and I delete, and I grab those and I fill them together, same with the top and the bottom. If I do that, I have like a Lincoln log, right? Would it be inappropriate to stick another log in there? Would that be structurally sound? I feel like that's not structurally sound. It is a cool idea though. Hmm, let's think about how wood works. It has a split point. If you take that split point, it'd be a lot better if I curved it. But that's a lot of geometry. You know what, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say I don't like that. Get rid of that. Put it all back. All right, let's use a little bit of reference here. Um, I should probably start by making my um, shield. The shield's gonna be a good reference point for us, I think. So let's make a shield. Really conventional heater shield. Um, do we want a heater shield or do we want like a nice traditional teardrop shield? We're gonna do a heater shield. Heater shields are nice and easy. So when I think of a heater shield, I immediately think we want a cube. We want a cube that goes gradually down in a really nice way. So flatten this guy out. We're going to strip this two times. Once about here. And once at the bottom, pretty close to being nothing. It will be nothing eventually, but we're just gonna get really close to it for the time being. Oops, my bad. Oops, I messed that one up too. Hold on. Chill. Chill out. Quit trying to get things to look crazy. You know what? Actually, there's nothing stopping me from merging these guys right now. I was thinking it was going to uh, affect my loop cut, but I've already made my loop cut, so who cares? So we'll do that. And then we'll repeat. And we got a heater shield. So... Heater shield, really nice, easy. You go like that, you put on scale, you go into here. We're gonna grab the whole thing and we're going to put a bunch of bevels on here. You made food and you are back. Welcome back. What'd you make? GG that on down just a little bit. This is the training dummy, yes. This is our boy. All right, let's go ahead and grab a little bit of that and throw on some bevels. That'll do. Can't be mad about that. 
And now we're gonna take it nice and easy and we're going to extrude in to make ourselves just that little, little rim that they always have. In fact, I'm gonna go like that and merge these guys together. Let's start by merging them together at this very moment instead of waiting, because waiting is going to hurt us, I think. And then I just stick them on down. And I can't be mad about that. There we go, heater shield. It's a perfectly conventional heater shield. Now we look at it and it's got a little bit of an effort to peak in the middle. So I will take it upon ourselves to do this. We need to have an odd number. I'm gonna say seven, I'm gonna say nine. Uh, you made steamed broccoli with hot pepper on it? Yo. I can't be upset at that. That sounds wonderful. I'm going to be having broccoli tonight. I'm going to make my my new famous um, crispy cheddar broccoli. That stuff is good, man. That stuff is really good. Cool. We're going to put on a... Um, Root, I think, looks about the right shape for me. No, let's use a sharp. I thought root was going to be cool, but sharp, I think, is the better look here. There we go. Heater shield. Look how perfect that thing looks. Look how absolutely normal and perfect that looks. Are we good at 3D modeling today? What happened? Since when was this a thing? I get like one good day every two weeks, it feels. I'm gonna go like that. I had some uh, Nepalese food today, it was pretty good. Can you explain what Nepalese food is for us? Like I understand the culture um, but I have no clue what that is. You got to post pics of the Brock? Sure. I'm not very good at taking pictures of food, if I'm being perfectly honest, but I'll do it. I'll do it for the gram. That's not exactly the angle I was going for. We're going to just do this one. Make sure we don't lose any of that articulation there at the bottom. That's my shield. I can't be upset about this. We're gonna use some auto smooth to get those um, bits looking good. And now I'm gonna look at it. And honestly, this is a moment, this is a real moment where I would bevel this inside edge. I'm not doing it. I refuse to. Maybe I'll do one bevel, but um, I don't want to because I think this is a good uh, example of me trying to learn how to do um, styles. So let's bring this way down like that. Look at that. Keep it really low poly and we're going to let the style speak for it. So let's go up to like 45, let's go up to like 60. There we go, and we're gonna let the style speak for it. I'm gonna force myself to start thinking about style first. Uh, I don't know a lot about it either, but lots of meat, veggies, and spices. So what'd you order? When you say meat, veggie, spices, like what is that? Like shish kebabs or what? Now, do I really want to stick a leather strap on this thing? Because I kind of think I don't care. We do a little bit of this, right? That's our man. In fact, let's go even crazier. 
you don't hold shields like that. You hold shields like this. So if I just take that and I push that way back on the body. Right? Like, that's what fighting a person looks like. That's what combat looks like. When you're in combat with somebody, they're sitting there trying to get you. That's it. We've done it. We've made a combat rig. Oh, I love him. This looks good. I'm pretty pleased with this, if I'm being perfectly honest. Now we got to put a sword on him. The sword's going to be the hard part, but we got to put a sword on him. Um, so let's go ahead and grab a cylinder of 24. Yes. Turn it over by 90. You know what? We should be using the same... There is no reason not to be using the exact same. Go ahead and turn you by 90. We'll poke you on up. Now this is the part I was worried about. How in the heck is this gonna work? We've made a cross, is what we've done. How is this going to work? This is where the Lincoln Log approach made sense to me, but I'm starting to question, like, what's even the point? I suppose the way that you would actually want to do this, realistically speaking... Yeah, the way you'd actually want to do this is like this. you would take this guy and you would trans transition him to zero. And you would, that's how you would make this. You would just drill a hole in here and just do it like that. I actually don't know any reason why you would not do it like this. So we'll keep it like that. It's a nice looking shield. Thank you. I just kind of pulled it out from thin air. I don't know how. Now I'm asking myself, how are these fixed together? I suppose you just wanna stick some nails in here, right? We gotta make nails. You would just nail it. You would just nail it straight in. Okay, let's make nails. Ooh, we're giving ourselves a lot of work. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Um, let's make another cylinder of 12. Okay. We'll go ahead and do a little bit of that. And here's how we're going to do this. I'm just going to save myself the effort, and we're going to merge at center. Should have done eight, shouldn't I? I don't know why it helps to look on that monitor when that's the monitor that I'm working on, but for some reason this is helping me a lot. Guess it's just a different point of view for some reason. Okay, let's do that, that, that. And if we wanna really make use of this stuff that we just did, this weird bad topology, let's just go ahead and throw down. There we go. Now we'll have just a weird looking little nail thing. I don't know what we're doing. Not gonna lie, I kind of lost sense of what we were doing for a little bit. There we go. That's what a nail looks like in my mind somehow. We'll go ahead and merge it center. 
world's most inefficient modeled nail. This is terrible. You know what? Take it back. Uh-uh. Instead, let's make ourselves a cylinder of eight. And now have a nice and easy time of this. Go ahead and apply scale. Pop on down to here. Grab you and bevel just the top of you. Uh, I think it was chicken uh, Shiraz. That sounds good, whatever that is. Like, immediately, that just reminds me of, like, shawarma. I'm sure it's not. But the regions are close, so I suppose they would have traded and developed stuff like that. You just ordered their special menu without thinking? A man of culture. A man of culture, just ordering. That's what I like to hear. This is not what nails look like. What am I doing? What in what on earth am I doing? Just why is this the hardest part of the whole build? Making a nail is my this is the hardest part of this whole thing. Okay, let's take it upon ourselves just to go like that, and we're just gonna make ourselves a nice, easy little bit of geo using math this time instead of just going based off of the whims of ourselves. We'll go ahead and merge at center. Shout out to Sonic CD for being one of the worst games with such a good soundtrack. It was chicken and lamb shears, uh? Shiraz? Shiraz? That's a weird, strange word. Hard word for me to pronounce. Shiraz. Chicken and lamb shiraz. Well, I can't be, uh, can't be upset at that. That sounds good. Again, we're going to go hyper-stylized on these things. Stick to your design. Honestly, that looks pretty good. You shade that smooth? Come on now. I can't be upset at that. Okay, we got a nail. Done. Chill out. No more obsession over this nail. It's just a nail. We're just not going to think too hard about it. It goes right here. It rotates up and in. There we go. So we're just going to nail a few of these guys in real quick. Just at weird little angles. Does it look silly? I don't know. I'm having a hard time understanding if what I'm doing makes any sense at all. I have a hard time with like fidelity when it comes to art, because like I think that looks good, but does it even match the fidelity of what we were doing before? I don't think so. But like that's a cool look. That's like very stylized to me. Maybe I do want to make the screws better than this. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay. You know what? Just for the sake of it, I'm going to go ahead and crease that. I'm going to crease each of these guys like really hard. And this way, I can at least say, like, if I do decide to change things later, we have the crease, so I don't need to sit and worry about it. Should I have edited them all at the same time, or parented them and made them into instances of each other? Yes, I should have. But I didn't. So, we're here. 
just looking at it, if I go ahead and throw on a subsurface, it does look infinitely better. It does look so much better. The geo is sort of out of control though, for no reason. And is it auto normal? It is not auto normal. So we're gonna auto normal all of these guys. And honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab them, why not? So you get the modifiers, done. There's my nails for the time being. We got 40 minutes, let's finish this guy up. We're actually like already almost done. Sorry, sorry to be almost done. Uh, also, don't forget to join the, um, don't forget to join the uh, raffle if you're interested. You get to determine what the final hour of stream looks like. And uh, I would hope you would keep it related to this kind of stuff, but honestly, th these are pretty general prompts, so you can do whatever you want as far as I'm concerned. Whatever you want does not mean whatever you want, but you know what I meant. Okay, so get in on the raffle, T says. You've heard it here first, folks. T is forcing everybody into the raffle. You don't even get a choice. Okay, let's go ahead and build a sword and a head. I want to make a head because that's the thing that I think differentiates us from this one. This one's a little obvious for me, and I want to make something a little bit more interesting. So let's make a head. Oh my gosh, Simo. <laughs> Simo, you have an unbelievable amount of points. Simo, you should do the reverse of last stream where you just do one and see if you can get it. Uh, okay, so let's say low poly, low poly. We're going low poly. We're focused on those low polys. Look at that. That ain't bad at all. Okay, we're gonna make ourselves a little head. You know, actually what makes uh, a head a head is the forehead bump right here. Here's that Genshin Impact that uh, we were talking about earlier. Junie, I still don't know why you associate Genshin Impact with me, but sure. These points accumulate pretty fast? Oh yeah. I made sure that they accumulate really fast so that we can all just keep playing. Um, also, you can duel each other. I'm gonna add heists. I meant to add heists um, last week and I forgot. So I will add heists, and there'll be even more ways for you to earn points as long as you're hanging out in chat. So we'll get there. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and put a scale on there, and I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of this. Simo won the duel. T, I feel like your luck with duels is not great. Now. Wait, did you win any points for doing that duel? I don't think the duel won you any points. Why is that? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's not how that's supposed to work. All right, well, that's going to require some thinking on my part.
All right, you know what I want to do? I want to just double some of these faces, especially around this area. We're just going to double a few of these by one. We're just smoothing this guy out a little bit. That looks great. Look at that. Do we have a problem with the point system? Is the points not working correctly? Like, what is this? No, it does not work. What? Okay. Tell you what, let me write that down. I got a little note card here. Let me write all that down. Add heists. Uh, fix duels. Why did duels do nothing? And fix give. Weird. I don't know why any of that's broken. It shouldn't even be broken in the first place. I just used the default settings. <laughs> Um, here's what I'm going to do. Staff's also cruising on the points. Staff is like the resident lurker. There we go. That is going to be my little choker. We got ourselves stylized today. Look at that. Look at that. Can't be mad at that one bit. Now, I'm definitely not going to give it a ponytail. Sorry. We are going to draw a face on it, though. And I have enough time to do it. So we're going to draw a face on there for sure. Hey, Sir Gamison. Is that Gamison? Like, um, no, it's not Gambison. Okay, sorry. What is Gamison? What does that mean? All right, I think we're ready to note up and then make a sword in a moment. But we're not going to do the sword yet. Let's wait on the sword. As cool as swords are and stuff, I want to make sure that we nail down this part first. And then we'll be good to go. So let's just get all the wood in here. Hello? Game Sin? Oh, I like that. Sir Game Sin. Hello, Sir Game Sin. Let's go ahead and assign ourselves this material right here. No, get rid of that. This is going to be our styled oak, just for the time being. We'll come back and rethink what that's going to be in just a moment. But let's go ahead and use a little bit of gold. Double that down, and we're going to make this... No, you know what? I want it to be rust. There's no reason not to use the rust. Okay. Hello, hello. How are you, Mr. Game Sin? What uh what would you like to uh what would you like us to know about you? Do you do 3D modeling? Are you just into sparring with uh dummies? What are you into? Tell us about yourself. It's me a copy of Style Rust. I'm gonna say Style Rust Shield. I think last time I saw a stream it involved candy and basketball. Sounds about right. It's been a hot minute then. I normally remember everybody. I'm sorry I don't remember you. I, uh... But you know, that's just the flow of time, right? Nothing wrong with that. There we go. We'll do a little bit of that. And we're going to go ahead and make it a lot more of this texture. There we go. Look at that. Little rusty shield boy. Now, I know the back of it's supposed to also be wood. Let's 
Do I care? Oh, I should care. If I export this to Unreal, I will care. But for the time being, I don't care. For the time being, I really don't care. I'm not going to do it. Stylized oak, stylized oak. Make sure we apply our scale. Make sure we apply our scale. We have some nice stylized wood there. And we're going to correct that wood in just a moment. Now these guys. These guys are going to be our gold copy, which is going to be called Style Iron Dirty. And these guys are really simple. I got to redo my gold. The gold texture I've been using for the longest time is terrible. Unreal 5 looks nice. I've been liking it so far. I've been using a lot less of Unreal than I'm happy to admit. But I've also been using my time pretty well, so I'm not that upset about it. But um, from what little I've used, I really like Unreal 5. It is infinitely better than the terrible UI disaster that was Unreal um, Unreal 4. Can't be mad about that at all. Looks pretty good. Uh, Unreal, by the way, not my mesh. My mesh looks good. Unreal looks great. Okay, let's make some rope. I'm kind of scared of doing it, but we've just been doing things today, so let's just let's just do it. Let's just get it done. Just do the rope. I kind of think we want a wave texture going into a gradient, but I'm going to try just the wave texture to start with. Okay, if we do t UV data, oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it looks great. Let's get a really close look of some of this. Oh, she's actually the most perfect thing I've ever seen. Oh, she's actually the most perfect thing I've ever seen. Oh, she's gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, we got, we found our clip. Hello? Now, I think we can probably solidify that clip somewhere, but maybe I don't care that much. What's up, Mr. Six? How you doing? Maybe I don't care about that too, too much. Shall we try? Let's just try while we're here. There's no harm in trying. If I go UV and we recalculate from a cylinder projection, where is our, there it is. Flumph, we do, don't we have a flumph command? I believe we do have a flumph command. I wanna say we do have one. Just gonna put that out there. Okay, uh, I don't know if there's a way to do this at all, but I'm just experimenting right now. There it is. We don't? Okay, so what do you want the flumph command to be? You let me know and we're gonna make it work. This one's tough. This one is tough. Whoops, sorry, I don't want it to be zero. Yeah, what's the flumph command gonna be? No, I know that, what does it do? When you write it, what is it gonna say? Okay, that's just about there. 
2.035 is basically as close to the grain as I think we can squeeze it. So we're gonna just squeeze it right there and say that's it. Yeah, what are your ideas? Let's hear those ideas. Let's hear those beautiful little ideas of yours. Now we're gonna totally ruin it. I'm gonna stare at this. There's no reason not to stare at this. 2.034. Two point zero three three. That is so close. That's close enough that I don't care. That's close enough that I don't care. I'm going to say there. You're pretty tired? Go to bed. Okay, we're going to say 0.5 with really high detail, roughness. You join the Floomph gang? Okay, I'm not against that. Color me not against that. We're gonna say one, it, that looks like rope to me. That looks like pretty good rope to me. Cool, and now I just throw a color ramp on there and I think we're done. Can't be mad about this. Can't be mad about how, what's going on today. Why did we get good today? Did I just choose a good prompt? This is what happens when I don't do organic shapes like everybody wants me to do. Okay, so we got a weird bumpy thing going on here. Don't know why. We got a really weird bumpy thing. You can't even see the seam anymore. The seam's gone. There it is. Barely. You can barely see that. Good luck finding that. Anybody who wants to find that, good luck. Color me not embarrassed about it one bit. Okay, tell you what, I'm gonna throw on maybe a subdivision? No, it doesn't change anything. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? It is very seamless. I'm surprised I was able to get so close to the grain on it. What if we don't have any bump? What does that do for us? That doesn't really make any sense to me. But, whoa, hello. Uh, we'll just go ahead and delete that. Why not? I guess we don't have a normal map for this one. I'll have to sit and think about how that works in a little bit, but for the time being, this is it. And uh, I'm not opposed to just stealing colors, so we're just gonna steal some colors here. We're probably gonna have to round them up a little bit closer together, I think. Oh, that looks so nice. It looks so nice. What have we done? 0 0.25, 0 0.1. No, I like it better like that. There's part of me that wants this to get a little bit crazier. In my eternal quest to never let things sit just by themselves, I'm gonna go for it is a bad idea and nobody should ever fall in my footsteps, but um, I'm insatiable. The appetite is never quenched. So we're gonna use like a multiply, I think I'm gonna phase offset. 
right there is just about perfect. And now we're gonna go ahead and take a multiply. This might also fix the bump map if I'm being perfectly honest. We want to make deep valley sort of structures. There we go. And how's that seam looking? You can't even see the seam. I cannot believe how good that looks. Cool, that's my, that's my guy right there. We'll up that distortion a little bit more, lower the roughness down a little bit to get that look. Oh, now you can see the seam. There we go, that's gonna be my rope. That's the look of the rope, and in fact, It'll probably be in our best interest to add a lighter little grain on the end of this. Like that. I just want a little bit more color in the... Um, this brown area. Like I want this to be a little bit less consistent looking. That definitely does not look like string. So what I think I'm gonna do here is lower the detail scale. Hmm, it's a difficult one. This is a tough one. I think we're gonna leave it like that. It's not perfect. I'm gonna sit and think about how rope works for a little bit, but I don't wanna get lost in that. I don't wanna sit and think about that for the rest of my life. So that's gonna be our rope for the time being. Oh, also, I realized I should do this. We'll say 0.9, looks good. I mean, it's not bad looking rope, it's just not perfect. And I don't know why we're always going for perfect, but it's just my way. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish off the last little bit of the head. And we definitely don't have time for a sword today. So no sword today. Also, don't forget to uh, join the raffle, everybody. Uh, you have about 15 minutes left. So uh, do it before it's too late because I guarantee I'm gonna forget to remind everybody about it. So if you wanna join the raffle, it's your call. We're gonna call this head and I'm gonna go ahead and make a canvasy sort of material. So let's go ahead and do a mix RGB, not that. I'm also gonna take this opportunity to save real quick. Okay, we want a wave texture, double wave texture again. This one should be a lot easier because we're just gonna go based off of maybe the UVs. Do we wanna go off UVs? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this yet. UVs sound interesting because UVs would allow me to fix this guy up in a weird way. It's also so low poly that it like really doesn't want to sequence correctly. If I do this. It's not terrible looking. Although if I go rings with spherical, it's automatically going to give me that pattern anyway. Not quite. But generally, yes. And then we go Z.
that's about the material I was going for. Um, please don't crash. Hmm, that's not it. That's not going to be the one. Now, if I put on UV, we have a seam, a really clear seam right there. Hmm. Nope. Okay. You know what? We're going to stick to object data, and I'm going to get a little bit less weird with it. Ooh, okay, that's it. Let's go to rings with Z, not X. Rings with Z. Hello? Look like Slade from uh, Teen Titans. What the heck is this Toby looking? <laughs> well, there you go, your next uh, monster design. Just take a, an X and Y ring system and put it together. All right, Mr. Six, let's hear a better idea. I'm ready for it. That does look good. What if we did a double X but rings mixed with bands? That just looks crazy. No, we want to stick to bands. <laughs> That's just about what I was thinking. I wish it wasn't so low texture. Like, why does it look that bad? I don't know why the, the textures are always kind of low texture for some reason. Why is that? Let's up the detail to like an incredible amount. And let's up that scale to like 20. Why is it so chunky? Blender, seriously, what is this? If I throw on a subdivision surface, does that fix that problem? 0%, oh yes it does. Welcome to the Floomf gang, Floomfy friend. All right, if that's the command you want, that's the command I'll add. Brain does not like this pattern very much. I do not love the way this looks. I think I'm stuck with it though. You know what? Too bad. We're keeping it. Just keep it as is. I'm done. I'm done worrying about it. We'll do a 15 and a 15 and I understand that I have the quality like insanely high. I'm gonna lower that quality in just a moment, but not yet. I just want to be able to see it and maybe bake it before I go back down to the low poly. Um, I don't know why poly count affects that too, too much. Like it makes sense obviously, but like that's not how textures are derived. I don't know. It's kind of beyond me. It might, it might literally make no difference if I bake it and then lower the poly. That would be frustrating. Okay, that'll do. You know what would been more interesting? I should have done a texture, or a, not a texture, a, a brick texture. And I should have seen if the brick texture did it. Because if the brick texture was correct, I probably could have not had to worry about this. But it is what it is. Oh well, we're done. Problem solved. Lower that strength down to 0.5, get it looking kind of subtle. And I'm going to tear up the bottom of this guy just a little bit. Do I want to tear up the bottom of this? Maybe I'm not going to tear up the bottom of this. Let's leave it like this for now. Okay, so we're going to use a mix RGB. Oh no. 
Yeah, this is fine. Mix RGB. Before we do that, let's paint a texture onto this guy. So one of these colors is going to be this, and one of the colors is going to be like a red. And what I'm gonna do is pop myself on an image texture like that, make a new one. We're gonna call this dummy head. Dummy head sounds like something a little bit different in my mind, but we're not gonna think too hard about that. Okay, let's texture paint it. Okay, so I wanna go right between making it fun and making it realistic. So let's go brush, texture, airbrush. Not what I wanted. What do we want? We want There we go, that's what I'm feeling. Okay, I don't think we want that. What mouth do we want? What mouth is everybody feeling? I kind of love the way this looks. You're just beating up this guy. I kind of love the way this looks. How's everybody feel? Okay, we can't we can't put a nose on him. A jack-o'-lantern mouth? That's way too hard. There's no way. This is like stitched, like somebody, somebody like a uh, crocheted a face onto this thing. I wanna hide an Easter egg on the back of them. Part of me wants to just do that. Just so I can be like critical shot, right? Just like a critical hit. An uwu mouth. All right, I think I'm gonna officially stop taking uh, requests from chat. So we're gonna call that it. That's my head. We can put the bump back onto here. We're gonna put on our mix just like that. Say, so how does that look? Oh, it looks pretty good. So first things first, you need to be this and you need to be red, like dark. Look at that. Oh. oh, he looks great. Okay, and we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did with the, um, the target. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna plug you in. And you're gonna be our strength. So half of it has to be 0.5 and half of it has to be like zero. So which side's which? Oh, already looks great. 
We'll take you and we'll make you like 0.5. And we'll take you and we'll make you like 0 0.05. Look at him. Tell me you want to beat this guy up. Okay, so last but not least, let's do the shield real fast. So I'm looking at stylized oak let's go to mahogany i doubt you would make a shield out of mahogany but just to see it you would not do this like you definitely would not do this Yeah, you would not make a shield out of mahogany. That doesn't make any sense. What would you make a shield out of? Off the top of my head, the only thing I can even think of in three minutes is to go back to the stylized oak make a copy of it, call these style oak planks. And we're going to plug both of these into a brick texture. And we're gonna lower this down to like one. I'm also gonna set the distortion down to 0.5. Yeah, that'll work. And we're gonna get these colors maybe a little bit more prominent than they are right now. Nope, bad. Scale goes up. That is not what I wanted. I don't know why that looks so weird. Okay, we'll take it like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a brick texture. Two colors right here. Hello? Hello, what the heck is going on here? I'm also doubting if I like this or not. What is this? What on earth is going on? Kind of slow today? It happens. It's been kind of on and off all stream. Nothing got me too worried. We have slow days. I don't, they don't bother me. Like I say, I'm always here just uh, doing what I do. So um, if people join and hang out, that's perfect by me. What? What's happening? I think I'm gonna have to call it on the shield. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm gonna call it on the shield. Okay, goodbye, 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 goodbye. All right, the raffle is over. Who is going to be the champion? Well, I'm gonna take one moment real quick. You know what, actually I'll do the raffle first and then I'm going to um, add one more detail to the shield and then we'll do the raffle. Um, okay, well there's only two people who entered, so good luck, peeps. It is T. T, you're up. What are you feeling, T? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pop ourselves on one more of these little draw your owns. You did it. You done did it. Let's go ahead and throw on an image texture. 
image texture is going to be shield. Um, you tell me what you're feeling. You tell me what you think you want, and I'll just give you a very simple yes or no, if that's okay by everybody. I think that's more than uh, simple enough. What do I want on the shield? I kind of want to make like a really bad skull and crossbones. Please don't do an organic shape. I don't like the skull and crossbones. So you don't want to strike the shield is what it comes down to. All right, can you give me a little bit more of a specific example of what you want to see? I'm not against that idea. I'm not sure what to draw on the shield. Looking around my room, what is like a bad... Sure, that'll do. That's, that's my draw. And it immediately auto-resolved, which is good. That's exactly what I wanted. So we're gonna use this as a mix RGB. So this is our factor. There we go. Can't be too upset at that. And we're gonna go back to placing our bump down here. You wanna put some prizes on it for the knights. Okay, so what do you want? Like, what, what are we talking about? You want me to make a little table with a kiosk over it. Um, with some prizes on it? Is that what you're saying? Because I actually think that's going to be kind of hard to do, but I'm um, not against it. There we go. So he needs a little bit of texture work, but honestly, I'm not that displeased with what we've done today. I can't be that mad about this. That looks pretty good. He needs some love. Okay, I understand what you want me to do. I understand the objective. So I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm done with both of these. I think we're good. I think we're looking good on the training dummy. So let's come back over to here. Let's label everything correctly. Dummy head. Dummy post two, shield. This is dummy rope. Cylinder. Oh, these are nails. Nail. 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 Oh, I love this guy, actually. I think this guy looks awesome. Cool. There's a lot left to do, but um, I can't be really upset with what we've done here today. Okay, so let's grab the training dummy. He's actually huge. He should not be that big. There we go. So this is basically what the shot's gonna look like when I take my final photo. Can't be that mad about that. So we'll go ahead and put a little kiosk over here. Let me go ahead and set up the camera while we're here and then we'll go ahead and build out your, um, 
your kiosk. You know what, I always rotate really high on these. I think I wanna rotate a little bit more shallow. Like that. There's nothing wrong with doing it a little bit more um, simple. Let's grab the dummy and really scooch him on over to the side of this thing. And we'll put the kiosk maybe like right here. I'll think about where to put the kiosk when I'm done. Okay. So we're gonna call this prize kiosk. Sure. So when I think of a kiosk, I'm not sure what you call these things. Stand? Uh, medieval stand? Okay, I'm, I'm looking at a couple examples. Just shelving units, really. Huh. Here, I'll show you what I'm looking at. That's probably what I'm going to go for. Just a really typical style. Do you have any idea of what prizes you want the knights to win? Because I'm not super sure what's going to be in the prizes. That's the one right there. Oh, I'm not 100% sold on any of these designs, if I'm being perfectly honest. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. What does it matter? Let's go for it. So let's just build out some little guys. Maybe like a toy wooden sword. So I don't know why a knight would want to compete for a toy sword. Maybe this is a bad idea. Too late. This is what we're doing. Okay, I have, a, I have an idea. I'm gonna put a trophy here. I'm gonna put a trophy on the stand. So you're competing, it's like a tournament. You're competing for like a trophy. Look at my hair, why is my hair going crazy? Okay. Trophy it is, that's what I'm doing. What is time? That's kind of funny that you said that. I was just thinking about that the other day. Everybody always says time is a human construct. And I'm like, that is very stupid. Maybe stupid's like a really cruel way to say that, but that's a very like ignorant way to look at the world around you. Time is not a human construct. I think it's weird when people say that. The fact that we use hours and minutes is a human construct, but like time is as much of a human construct as like lions. Like it would exist whether we existed or not. I find it really weird when people talk about how time is like a human construct. That drives me kind of mad. It makes me feel like a delinquent when people say stuff like that. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I said that. Uh, this is going to be front central brace F. Oh, the lag? I understand. B. It's just annoying. It's like, that's such a whoa, dude, I'm deep kind of thing to say for me. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know why I'm going off about a fictitious party that's not here to defend themselves. Sorry to all the woe dudes out there. Um, for those of us that, you know, 
are not fighting random invisible people that aren't even here right now. Um, what is time? What is time? Uh, this is going to be brace upper. Yeah, sorry. I just, I was thinking about that the other day. Uh, somebody was like, I was watching some YouTube video or something and somebody was like, yeah, time is a human construct. And I'm like, they were talking about productivity and like getting work done. And in that regard, sure. But I was just like, no, it's not. Get real. It's very annoying. Um, so anyway, my bias aside. Um, time, 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 time. What is time? Time, 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 time. Um, I don't know. It's the bane of my existence is what it is. There's the short answer. Me and time do not have a great relationship with one another. I'm always at odds with time. Um, beyond that, not sure. Also, you know who's going to use the nails that they made earlier? It's going to be me. It's going to be me. Um, I don't know how to answer your question. What is time? It's just a thing we abide by. I don't know. There we go. We'll go ahead and move that by 90. And now I'm going to copy all of these dimensions except for Y. So Z gets copied. And X gets copied. It's a human construct. Honestly, you're right. Actually, I didn't think about it that way. I think it is a human construct. Okay, let's copy that modifier, and now we have ourselves a little bandstand to stick our stuff on. Do I want to do more than that? No, I don't. So what I'm going to do is go to Training Dummy. I'm going to grab a nail, copy, bring it on over to the prize kiosk, and we got ourselves a nail. The nail needs to be quite a bit bigger than this, but honestly, I think we can all play pretend. I think we can all pretend that that's correct. And are we going to use one nail per thing? You bet we are, because we're reckless. Because we don't care about structural integrity. <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. If we go on at a little bit of an angle on this one, this one should be good. This is the most like cartoony haphazard looking uh, job I've ever seen. Whoever did this should be fired. So me, I should be fired. You all should be firing me right now. I should not have a job. Um, which is great, because nobody here is paying me. So it all works out in the end. You're fired. <sighs> Looks like I lost my job. Have I ever been fired? I don't think I've ever been fired in my life. I've quit a lot. I've quit a lot of jobs. I've worked a lot of jobs. Have I ever been fired? 
I've been fired from one job and it wasn't really a fire. It was a job where they were like, yeah, we really can't afford to have employees anymore. And I was like, okay, ciao. Like, say say less. I'm, I'm leaving. That's the only time I've really like been quote unquote fired. I've never really been fired before. In my work experience, I've always been somebody that kind of speaks my mind. If I see like a way to do something efficiently, I just do it and I say like, hey, I think we should do this. And I've, I've been at odds with a lot of my managers and stuff in the past. Um, I definitely haven't had an easy time through my work experience. Um, but like, I haven't been fired. Okay, there we go. There's our gross, disgusting nails everywhere. Now let's go ahead and throw some linen on here. And then we'll put a little table up and we'll throw a trophy on there. And that is done. That'll be a full done deal. We're gonna do maybe about that much and that much. Actually, we need a lot more on the back of this thing, like that. Probably even more on the back of this thing. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna drag on the ground. We don't wanna go too crazy. So we're gonna leave it like that. Let's go ahead and say three of these looks like enough. And then we grab the whole thing and we go boom, 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 boom. That should be fine. We're gonna save real quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put cloth physics on this and we're gonna call it a day. So let's go ahead and throw on collision and collision. Uh, stickiness of these guys should be pretty high. Mm, vertex mass. Let's just give it a shot and see what happens. Okay, so he's not super sticky. We want you to stick pretty hard. What is your friction? Let's up this stickiness to like 20. Okay, 10 is as high as it goes. So we're gonna do 10. Difficult, difficult little thing we've created here. What, how do I wanna do this? Tension. Permeability, nope, we don't want permeability. We don't want it to go through. Field absorption is high, high. I don't know what that's even going to do. Definitely not what we want it to do is what it is. Soft body and cloth, friction, get way up there. Okay, now we're up. Perfect. Cool. Now we go to animate and we're going to set the end to like 300 and we're going to let it loosen itself out real quick. So please don't go all the way to 300 and we should be good. We'll say right there looks just about perfect to me. Maybe let it go just a little bit more. Okay, that's it. Done.
I might go ahead and stretch it out just a little bit. Okay, let's not do that. Instead, I'm going to apply the cloth. Now we can stretch it out because it doesn't have collision data anymore. None of the nails are intersecting, so I'm not worried about that. And now we grab the back of it, and I'm gonna just do a nice clean sweep all the way across. Just like that, delete. Uh, do you draw? I am a terrible artist. I am a terrible, terrible artist. Um, people will tell you that I'm fine. People will say that I'm okay, and I'm okay. I mean, I have artistic sense. My mom is an artist and she taught me things. I know how graphic design and stuff works. I'm not inept, but I'm not an artist. The booth is cute? Well, thank you. Yeah, I can't I can't do art. 0%. Um I'd like to get into like more texture work stuff, but for me I'm very mathematically driven. My brain is very like one, two, three, do step, do, do step one, do step two, do step three. And when it comes to drawing like bodies, if I have to draw a shoulder, no, I don't like it. Erase, do it again, erase, do it again, erase, do it again. I lose it. Your mother is an artist? Yeah, my mom's a great artist. She, uh, she was a full-time artist before I was born. And she's just been real good. Okay, what is this called? This is gonna be called our tapestry, our kiosk tapestry. You like my doodles? I appreciate that. I knew somebody would say that they like my doodles. They're not good though. <laughs> okay, so that is that. Let's go ahead and build the trophy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a real big shortcut on this one. So sorry to everyone that doesn't want me to take a shortcut, but we're taking a shortcut. We're gonna do a little bit of that, make ourselves a nice little firm table. Go ahead and apply scale, come down to here, and we're gonna go ahead and do two of these, separate them, hello, hello? Separate them like that. Maybe in a little bit more, that'll do. Take two of these, separate them. That'll do, and we're just making the world's simplest table here. I'm not even gonna think about it. This is not a part of the final sketch. I do not care if this looks great or not. This is just a simple little guy. Just a simple guy. Look at that guy, just a simple boy. Do I actually care a little bit? Uh, I don't wanna care. I don't wanna care, but I think I might care a little bit. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna apply scale to all these guys real quick and we're gonna lower the bevel amount and increase the amount of little guys there are. 0.3 looks good to me. So now I'm gonna go have to do this, this, this. Copy modifiers. This, this, this. Copy modifiers, come up to here, get rid of the mirror. All right, I don't know why I got obsessed with that, but that's what we're doing. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing here. Why, I don't know. I don't know, does it make any sense? No, but we're doing it. Okay, cool, let's make a trophy and then we're done. So when I'm thinking of a trophy, I'm thinking of a cylinder of maybe like 24. 
and we're just going to go real quick and easy on this guy. Pop you down. Like that. Sure, that'll do. And then go up. Pop you out just a little bit. Look at that. Grab you, pop you down using a GZ. GZ. We got a weird like goblet here. The only thing that's really bad is this needs to come in. There we go. Do I wanna do little branches, like little uh, things to hold on to? I don't know about that yet. I'm not gonna think about that yet. Sure, we'll do this, extrude all the way down. Bring this guy in. Go slightly see-through and let's do this. There we go. And we'll throw a subdivision on there and see what that looks like. So, big revelation here on the bottom. Let's go ahead and poke that. Actually, you know what, don't even poke it. We're gonna just go ahead and harden you up and make you a very hard bottom. We're gonna go ahead and harden a few of these guys. Like we're gonna go ahead and put two of these guys in here and stretch them up to each other. And now we check and it looks a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab you, you two and push you down. And that means you need to push down. That doesn't look half bad. It could use a little bit of love, but I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and delete that face. Let's pop up into here and say grid fill. Please work, it does work. Yeah, that'll do. The only thing that I'm gonna add is maybe make it a little bit more like that stretch these guys out just a little bit to make it that really really nice bowl shape there we go a trophy now if i remember what trophies look like because i have them but i'm not looking at them for some reason and i didn't look up reference images because i'm a psychopath that doesn't do that um they flare out at the top. They do that, right? That's what a trophy looks like. To the best of my understanding, that's a perfect trophy. We just need to add handles to it, which I didn't want to do, but I'm going to do. Okay, so it has a handle. Which I don't love the idea of making a handle, but we're going to go for it. Okay, handle goes like this. Thank you for the hydrate. This is gonna be my last little bit of water. I will have to go get more if you ask me to hydrate again. Looks fancy, I appreciate that. I, um 
just kind of following wherever the gut's telling me to go. Okay, we're gonna do that, and now we're gonna bridge these faces together, which I think should just work like that, right? If we go inside here, there's not like a inner, no, it's perfect. Majora's Mask? This is not Majora's Mask. One more guess. I feel like olden times where we had those banners with the triangles on them as well. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm willing to do that much work given the time limit that I have right now. I'm a little bit worried about finishing for the time being. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze all this down. Majora's Mask was the last song. Um, the last song was the Great Fairy Fountain from um, Wind Waker. She's like a weird doll, like puppet thing, and she's got that clinky, clinky sound to her. It has like a weird ear shape to it, doesn't it? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to say that that's good enough. We're gonna go ahead and remove this one more time, pop these guys up, and say done. Say cheese. Before the Great Fairy was Majora's Mask song? Uh, maybe, I don't, I don't remember. That's possible. We're feeling the uh, the Wind Waker right now, that's for sure. Look at that. Okay, so we got not a great looking trophy, but a trophy. So now I will take it upon myself to cut this guy in half. The Royal Cutting of the Trophy in Half Festival. It's tradition around these parts. And now I will go back to regular view and I will throw on a mirror modifier and the mirror modifier will go above the subsurface. And we will just hit apply. I like the Wind Waker. It just gets old quick. I think people have really distorted memories of Wind Waker. And if you disagree and you don't, you, you think that doesn't apply to you, then sure, great. No problem. I don't want to stop you from liking what you like, but uh, I just feel like everyone has a an incomplete view of their love for the Wind Waker. Whoa, not what I wanted to do. We're going to do that. There ain't nothing wrong with the Wind Waker. It's a perfectly fine game, and it's a it's an amazing marvel of engineering that Nintendo should be very proud of. I am not belittling um, Wind Waker whatsoever. I just think it's one of those games that people go like, oh, my favorite game of all time, and you play it, and you're like, okay. It's better in memory, which, you know, is nostalgia at the end of the day. It's just better in memory, which is fine. It's actually kind of cool that it works that way. Okay, that's my trophy. It's not great looking. Trophy. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, note all this up and then we're done. So we're actually gonna finish a little bit early today. Um, I would take that opportunity to make a sword and stuff, but honestly, I'm feeling a little weird right now. 
And I don't know if I'm able to finish a sword in the time limit that we're going to have. But we'll see. We'll get there when we get there. It's been a weird day, if I'm being perfectly honest. The X is zero. That's all I care about. I was replaying it, and I was so happy as ever. I want to get into it again so bad. Just play it. Why not? You know what I want to add to this? I want to add that muddy field from the battering ram. I think I'm going to add the battering ram to this scene. Not the battering ram, but the scene from the battering ram. You know what? I'm going to. Let's just do it. Let's just do it and get it over with. It can't be helped. I'm doing it. Okay, so let's op in a material real quick. Let's see. Where is the battering ram? Battering ram, battering ram, battering ram. Where are you? Ooh, it is, it is lightning outside. <laughs> Where am I looking right now? Okay, well now I gotta find the battering ram, which is gonna be easier said than done. Where is it? Where have I put you? Oh no, I've lost the battering ram. I found it. I found it. Okay, we found the battering ram. Um, we're gonna want a material and we're gonna want muddy field. Where are you? Muddy field, M M M muddy. I can't seem to find it, which is annoying. So I'm gonna say that maybe you're it. And we're gonna double check. No. All right, this calls for a state of emergency. I want this texture so bad that I'm willing to put everything on pause to go grab it. So here we go. I have saved. I'm gonna pop the battering ram on over. We're gonna take a good look at it. Look at that battering ram. My HDRIs got all messed up. I don't, that doesn't bother me. That's the material right there. Yeah, it's the one I just imported. Let's go back to training dummy. And let's double check material 01. It didn't come over. Okay, tell you what, we're gonna go back to it. Go to the back, back to the battering ram. Okay, this is gonna be called Muddy Mud. I'm gonna save. That's called Muddy Mud. 100% it's called Muddy Mud. We're going over to Training Dummy. I'm gonna op end a material called Muddy Mud. And now I'm gonna click from the menu. And we're gonna add Muddy Mud. There we go, now it works. Perfect. Perfect. Now I got it working, cool. Nice and easy. So now all I wanna do is take this mud and we're going to lower the, um, the scale of this just a little bit. Here is a uh, Majora's Mask. Here is that Majora's Mask we were talking about. There we go. Muddy Mud goes way off into the distance. In fact, I will take it and rotate it along here by just a little bit so we have a nice horizon line for ourselves. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and put the training dummy down and we're gonna put down the target. 
and we're gonna scooch them on up to a position that we like. And in fact, I'm just gonna scooch the ground down to a position we like because we already have these to a position we do like. So there's no reason to play with those two too much. Okay. There we go. Looks pretty good by my standards. Why do you not have a face anymore? What happened to your face? His face is gone. They deleted our boy's face and they deleted the shield as well. Why did that happen? Did I not save? I guess maybe you have to save this texture somehow. That's sad. Oh, that sucks. You have to export this. I didn't even think to do that. F's in chat for the face. We're going to redo the face. There's no way on earth I'm letting that face go. We're doing the face again. I wonder if I can just click it and do texture editing on him. We'll do that in just a second. First, let's get the kiosk in the right position. Oh, I'm gonna redo the face. There ain't no way we're letting that face go. I loved that face. Okay, so it's gonna be a lot of this weird wood texture, which I'm not a big fan of, but it'll be fine. There we go, that's gonna be the look. Okay, so. Let's get rid of everything that isn't the kiosk for just the time being. The nails are perfect. We're going to use style oak. What I need to learn how to do is I need to learn how to do some edge highlighting. It was a great face. I do. I'm upset about the face being gone. I need to learn how to do edge highlighting to differentiate the separation between these objects. I need like black line, black line. That's next. Learning how to do that is next for me. I think it's just through a bevel with a desaturation or maybe even RGB nodes. I'm not doing it today. We have 15 minutes. I'm definitely going to run out of time. I'm not doing it today, but that's next. This is gonna be a nice solid gold. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the like missing ingredient in a lot of these sketches. Cause when you look at like the posts that I'm doing, they look a little washed out. The nails have great energy. Well, thank you. Very appreciated. We're just We're just feeling it, you know? We're just doing some weird stuff. Okay, there he is. There's a little, little bit of a, um, little bit of a trophy with some weird scuffing on it. There we go. Just a little bit of scuffing on it. And I'm gonna lower that saturation down a little bit as well, because this is old world metals. No reason to go crazy on the old world metals. That'll do right there. Okay, let's go ahead and do this guy. 
This is gonna be our prize tint. And this should be it, and then we're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a color ramp. We're gonna throw on a checker. Yeah, checker will do. Should be an obvious quick little setup just using object data, but I think the object data is not gonna come in handy for us. Yeah, so we wanna use UVs. And the UVs should be practically unchanged as far as I can tell. Let's go to the UV editor real quick because I have a really strong idea of how this is gonna work. Here's my idea. We're gonna grab all this. We're gonna shrink them down this way until we get just about perfect squares. And then we're gonna put it to the center and expand it slightly. And I think we're looking at perfect nodes. Back to object mode, nodes. Yeah, there he is. Easy fix. Scale is set to 50. And now the question is, do I wanna do any sort of weirdness to this? Do I want to do any kind of weirdness to this? Let's just give it a shot and see what happens. Nope, we're not going to do any weirdness. We're just going to do a nice little checker pattern here. We go. We're gonna do it just like that, and we're gonna give you two colors. I'm gonna say it has to be this orangey color because that was the one that we were sticking with earlier. Something royal, like a lavender, will do. There we go. I think that's gonna be good. It looks a little bit like a tint, which I don't love. You know what, let's scale that down just a little bit so it looks a little bit less like a uh, picnic. And I think that'll be all right. I think that's our prize tent right there. So I plug it all back together and we take a good look at it. And we say, that doesn't look bad. It's kind of a crazy look to it. One thing I'm gonna add is maybe come into here and do this and delete. It's a little atypical, but I'm definitely proud of a few of these elements. So it's been a good day. Also, my camera just got really yellow. Why am I so yellow all of a sudden? So here's what we're going to finish off with. I'm going to get out of camera view. We're going to pop in to this guy. Let's look at him through his normals, which I guess is here. You know what, I'll just do it like that. And I think I should be able to grab the dummy's head and go straight to texture paint. Oh yeah, we're good. Fall off is set correctly.
There we go. There we go. And now the back of them. And then the shield, we're going to do the exact same thing right there. Go into texture paint, and let's just give them a little bit of that. And we're in. Cool. Okay. I think that is our setup done. I'm going to go ahead and grab the camera. We're going to do two things real quick. We're going to grab the camera and we're going to go a little bit of a GX, a little bit of GZ. We do not want to use normals. Uh, GZ. I think I do want to add bloom again. I really like the way the bloom looked on the last image. I just think that was like such a complete look. So let me start off by doing two things. One, we're going to remove the um, transparency on the background. We're going to grab our camera and we're actually going to go based off of normals and go RX, GZ, nope. GZ There we go. I can't be mad about that. Looks pretty good to me. And now we want to change the background to something that we like and then we're done. Oh, and I got to add bloom and then we're done. So, world settings. Which one are we going to choose? Huh. Something that really shows off the look of this would be nice. What do we want? Cliffs might do it. It's a little bit of a hard cut there in the background, but I think we can I think we can swing it. I think I'm okay with it. It's also a little weird how um, blurry it is because it's actually a really high quality image. I don't really get why that is, but we're gonna add bloom. Just a good little bit of bloom. And you know what I want? I want to add a little light source onto this guy. Man, that's a bad looking trophy. He looks pretty terrible if I'm being honest. I'm going to add a light source right right there. Rotate them up and stare at that trophy just a little bit. Okay, it's a spotlight. It's not doing a lot. Let's up that to like a ridiculous degree and see how we feel. Boy, I really don't like the way this trophy looks. It does look so weird. It's so like gooey looking. Yeah, I can't fix this trophy. I don't think I can fix this trophy. Hmm. Hmm. The only thing I can even think to do is to do this, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, no, nope, I don't I don't think I can do anything for this guy. So we're gonna leave him just like that, why not? And we're just gonna affect the spotlight. Finish this last little guy off. There 
we go. That'll do that. And the size. We'll do a little bit of that and I'll say that that probably looks good. Okay, let's go back to our regular view and we have our camera on. We have a bunch of bloom, which is not showing up. Why is the bloom not working on that? I thought bloom would affect that like a lot. Okay, well this is not my favorite sketch I've ever done, but I like the individual pieces of what we've made and I can't be that upset about it. Definitely can't be that mad at what we've done today. We got something kind of cool. It just, it could use more love. If I was really sitting and thinking about this, I would give it a little bit more love, but we kind of went all over the place. We did a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Color me not that upset about it. I think it looks pretty all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it. We're gonna say that has been stream. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and study up a little bit this weekend. Um, this is a focus weekend for me. I gotta do a lot of work and I gotta think. So I'm gonna be learning some new blender tech. I have a really strong idea of what I wanna do on Monday. It just depends if I can do it in enough time. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have some hopefully more advanced stuff to do next week as we just get better and better and better. So um, I will see everyone on Monday. Ciao. Oh.